Now we mentioned with Howe, he's more of a slow mover. Um, if you're looking for something with a little bit more energy, then maybe Skylar is, is, is what you're looking for because uh, this dog is essentially pure energy. Um, she is a beautiful dog. She's a shepherd mix. She's got a, a red brindle coat, which is a little bit unusual for this type of dog. Um, but she's, so she's just super gorgeous. She's got cute little floppy ears. Um, and she is just full of energy, wants to run, wants to play. Um, if you're a couch potato and you're looking for a couch potato companion, Skylar's probably not going to be the best fit for you. Um, you know, personally, I think she would do better with somebody who's a little bit more dog savvy because she is a dog that really needs to work on her manners. Um, she does know things. She's eager to, to get those treats. So she's, you know, fairly easy to train, but she definitely needs somebody who's willing to put in the work and make sure that there's a consistency there with those good manners. Um, you know, um, She's about uh, just over a, a year old now, and so she she's still working, again, on those manners, but she's also a little bit um, reactive to certain people in certain situations. She's become a little bit more fearful uh, of men than when we had previously um, in, interacted with this dog. Um, and she's just a, a little bit more cautious of all new people. Um, you know, once you get a leash on her, she seems to be okay. But like if a new volunteer walks up to her kennel, she's just barking. Um, she's definitely unsure. We're not sure if she's she's nervous or she's just being demanding. Um, but then once you get a leash on her, for the most part, she seems to be to be okay. She wants to go out. She wants to play. Um, so, you know, somebody who's really capable of reading those body language cues is going to be um, a better fit. Um, for Skylar than maybe somebody who's, this is going to be their first dog. Um, but definitely um, somebody who's going to be willing to work and recognize that this isn't just a turnkey dog. She is going to need a little bit of training, um, maybe some, more than some of our other dogs. So Skylar was adopted from us and then returned, correct? Yeah. So um, Skylar was originally Flora back in May. Um, and uh, she was about eight months old then. And, uh, you know, the way that she was returned isn't the way that we would hope that people would return their pets. Um, essentially, her owner missed his relinquishment appointments. We do ask people who are surrendering own animals to make appointments so we can be prepared and make sure we have enough space for the animals. Um, missed the appointment and then came to the back door. And once the door opened, kind of just tossed the dog in and, and left and didn't want to give us any information. And, you know, depending on situations, we, you know, we are going to take your animal. Um, you know, sometimes if it's an emergency, we'll take them before your appointment and things like that. But it really is important for us to have conversations with those adoptive um, people who are returning these pets um, because we want to know all the information we can about them. Um, we want to know how they're doing with, you know, other animals, with different types of people, with children. Um, you know, are they afraid of anything? Do they have things that they really like um, because that's going to help us provide them with the best care while they're here in the facility and also try to find them with a, a more suitable match in the future so that they can stay in that home for the rest of their lives. Um, so, you know, we're not trying to ask these questions to be um, invasive or to be nosy. We're trying to do it so that we can do the best thing for the animal. So if, you know, you are thinking about surrendering your pet and you're watching this show, then make sure that you, you take the time to really fill out that information because it's going to help uh, the, you're the animal and the, the next person who's going to be caring for them. But if you're ready to be the next person to take on Flora, uh, Flora I still call her Flora, we all do, uh, Skylar and uh, um you know, all of her energy, then you're going to need to book an appointment to meet her by going to visit fcac.as.me.